Welcome to Tracker Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to manage the size of SSISDB catalog database. Um, so you guys know that uh, we are deploying our SSIS packages uh, to the SSISDB nowadays. Uh, we are not uh, deploying the packages to the file system anymore or uh, to the MSDB and all that. So what we are going to do, we are going to take care of this DB because uh, a lot of login uh, is uh, created. Uh, so there's a ton of information uh, when we enable this uh, SSISDB uh, logs, uh, then uh, each on each of the execution uh, there is a log produced uh, so this database uh, can grow huge some uh, time I have seen uh, some people uh, their database uh, went to 100 uh, GB and uh, because uh, they did not enable the um, uh, cleaning process and that's where they had the problem now what we need to do uh, as you can see that I have a lot of folders here in uh, each of the folder you have project and uh, then uh, uh, right here there is another project and there are tons of uh, packages in my case there are not <laughs> but in your case there would be hundreds of packages right now what we need to do we need to take a look on few of the items so this is a select query that's going to select some properties and what we are going to do we are going to see operation cleanup enable is that true or not in my case it is true and then what is the retention of window 365 days and the version cleanup enable or not that's also true in my case so as I have set these values to true and then set some retention window 365 days so there would be some retention job that will be taken care of it if I will go to the SQL Server agent I'm gonna see right there so SQL Server maintenance job but this job has it has uh, two steps uh, and uh, let me take you to the first step uh, so you can see right there and uh, that's the, the store procedure it is running so execute internal cleanup server retention window so depending on that one uh, is going to clean uh, some records. Uh, second one is uh, our project cleanup uh, because uh, we are deploying multiple projects uh, and if you want to keep multiple versions of those projects uh, they will be saved there. So it's a good idea to clean on uh, the one uh, uh, old version you don't need it. Uh, so how I came up with all this uh, information so I go to the SSISDB under the integration services catalog right here and uh, go to properties and then uh, you can go and uh, make all these settings. Uh, so what you see right there on the you can do the by using store procedure or uh, you can do from the this uh, graphical user interface so so if you want to do like say oh I want to have a clean logs periodically so you're gonna set to true or false so you can do that let me expand that so you can read the whole information so if you will enable this one what's gonna happen when the value is true operation detail and operation mass is older than retention period days are deleted from the catalog so that means if uh, we are setting this uh, to 365 days all that information uh, that will be deleted uh, such as uh uh, our operation messages and operation details when the value is false all the operation details and operation messages are stored in the catalog so they will not be deleted so it means that your database will grow a uh, big time note a SQL server job perform the operation cleanup so if we enable this one remember that I just showed you a job that uh, take care of it so this property you can set to false or you can set to true depending on that but it is good idea to set to true because you don't want to store all all those uh, uh, operation messages uh, and operation details for two years or five years you know you want to have some retention now next part is uh, here uh, where you will say right there so remove old versions so when the value is set to true only the maximum number of versions per project number of projects version are stored in the catalog and all project versions are deleted so the old ones are deleted if you I don't know if somebody want to keep 100 or something like that you want to keep maybe five total number of versions of your project you know in case you want to revert back to it otherwise nowadays we have team foundation server we have github we have are you a DevOps where we save all those uh, history and all that whenever we need to revert we can do that so uh, it's a good idea to just maybe keep uh, five uh, you know old versions in SSISDB and then, then uh, enable this uh, remove old versions so and uh, SQL Server same SQL Server agent job that I just showed you that will take care of the, that in the second step now another part for how many days you want to keep these messages in my my case if it depends on company policy let's say your company says that we want to keep 90 days we want to keep only the logs for uh, three months so you're gonna hit 90 there and hit okay 
And now if you will go and take a look here, what's going to happen? It's a Windows retention Windows 90. So all those records of, or uh, operation messages, whatever the execution uh, details and all that. Uh, so it's going to be only keeping for 90 days and the rest of the records will be deleted. So now let's uh, go back here and uh, if I go right here and uh, this is my project. So you, you see right there, let's go to the package. And uh, these are all, uh, uh, let's say, we have reports, standard reports, all execution and all that. So all this login information you are going to have only for 90 days. In my case, I didn't even run this package, so that's why I don't have anything really. All right, now what's uh, going to happen? One more thing I want to show you guys uh, on the login information. So on the SSISDB, in, under the integration services catalog, you want to take care of this part. Go to properties. And here uh, you want to study that the uh, server-wide default login level so it's basic and uh, read through uh, read through this one the service-wide uh, default log of a de detail that are captured during the package execution when the value is none there is no login when the value is basic all ssis even types except on progress on custom events are captured when the value is performance on error events are and uh, component phases uh, information are, is, are captured. When the value is verbose, all SSIS events, component phases and component data statistics information are captured. So if you see right there, so basic is okay for us, but if you want to be like, oh, I want to do uh, more like a error handling, I want to see which error is happening and all those details, then you're going to go to the performance. But uh, if you're going to uh, go more like a or everything that's where you're gonna select the verbose okay so in my case I have seen that basics just work fine you don't want to do none that means no login at all so in case of failures you are not gonna see any information here so it's good to have some information so leave it basic and 90 days and leave this true and this value as true and the, the, then uh, your project uh, uh, old versions whatever you want to keep like five copies or ten copies uh, so you do that uh, so this is how you will take care of your uh, SSIS DB and uh, this is a job that should be keep running every day and once it is enabled uh, it's going to keep uh, all the data was uh, defined in, uh, in the window uh, in 90 days it will keep it and every day when it run it will uh, delete uh, the old data so this is a way to clean uh, your SSIS DB and uh, you know um, not worry about uh, getting the, the the big size of SSIS DB so you have to restore uh, or sorry you have to back up you know uh, it will take a whole lot of space and all those kind of thing even that that information is not important at all for you so thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, this video is helpful please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video